Well guys, the grind never stops. I'm gonna be hunting for video games today. I'm gonna be going to a couple swap meets, um, and then afterwards we're gonna check out some pawn shops, game stores and whatnot. Hoping to find some good deals on some games. Let's head to Bel Air swap meet. This is our first stop. All right, it's looking kind of kind of dead this morning, which might not necessarily be a bad thing. Yeah, usually on a Saturday, every single one of these spots would be filled up. I mean, it is Friday. It's not like it's a Wednesday or anything. It is Friday, so I'm surprised there's not at least a few more people. Well, this is pretty dire right here. This may be the first time I not only not buy a game here, but not even see a single video game here. I've already been to half the swap meet now, which isn't much. And um, not a single person had a single video game yet, so we'll check the other half, but not looking too good. All right, yeah, that's the whole swap, man. That's the first time, no games at all. Let's keep moving on. Okay, I had some pretty bad luck at Bel Air swap meet. We'll see if Rubido swap meet can do me any better. This is normally something in the past I would have just completely skipped, but recently I found one at a pawn shop and I just sold it recently for 20 bucks. So getting it here for $3, not a bad deal. Well, it's definitely not what I expected to pick up today. I was about to leave, but there's a little something at the top. Okay, well, there were some pretty good games in there at the top, but he said he already sold them to someone else, so we'll keep moving on. That is not something you see often. Well, this is for sure the heaviest haul I've ever had from a swap meet. And uh, there's still like three rows I haven't gone down, so let's keep moving. All right, not a bad day here at the swap meet. Honestly, not bad at all at the swap meet. First pickup was pretty modest, Battle for Middle Earth 2 on PC for three bucks. And then second pickup was at a vendor I went to last time. I ended up picking up both of his Skylanders starter packs. And then he also had, he was doing like a three for 15 deal. So I picked up Black Ops 2. Madden 17 and Hitman uh, first season. So these five uh, were 45 bucks, not bad there. Third pickup was from the lady I went to last time. Uh, apparently this Basilisk like Blu-ray set is pretty valuable. Um, so I picked up that until dawn. And then this Pocky and Rocky Reshrine is still sealed. Uh, I might open it up actually, just cause the, the disc is loose in there. Um, so that and then Marvel vs. Capcom as well as two uh, GameStop trading controllers right there. This whole thing was 55 bucks, not a bad deal there. And then uh, I think the pickup of the Swami right here is this Atari 7800, which is like actually really clean. Like I thought it was almost fake at first, just looking at it because of how clean it was, but the controllers don't even look like they've ever been used. So not a bad deal. And it came with Mario Brothers, which I know is like a somewhat valuable 7800 game. So uh, that little 7800 lot for 50 bucks, not a bad deal there. So yeah, overall pretty good pickup here at Rubido. Much better than uh, the other Swami. All right, now I'm in Covina, California. Uh, there's a lot of pawn shops here that I have never been to, so there could be a lot of games here, or there could be absolutely nothing. Regardless of that, I'm gonna head over to my first stop right here. Not a bad start at all. Ended up getting Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection, and A Way Out, the three of those for 30 bucks. Can't complain about that. Well, it looks like the next pawn shop I tried going to is actually out of business, uh, but there is a thrift store right next to it, so we'll check out this place and see if they got any games. Well, it's looking like no games here. All right, we'll see if we have any better luck. Here we good, fellas. Yeah, they just didn't really have anything in there. We'll keep moving on. Okay, I know where I'm at now. I've been to this pawn shop before. I remember last time I came here, I didn't really get a great deal, but it's been a long time and definitely before the summer. So we'll see if their inventory is any better. Yeah, unfortunately that's pretty much the exact set of games I saw last time. Keep moving on. All right, now I'm in downtown Covina. Uh, there's a couple pawn shops here and then there's also a video game store. 
Let's go check him out. Okay, I feel kind of dumb on that one. That's actually not a pawn shop. It's a skate shop that's just called Pawn Shop. Not sure what's up with that. I haven't been to this one in a while. I remember that PS4 being there last time I was here. Let's see what these guys got. Unfortunately, nothing really great in there. We'll check out the video game store on the way back to the car. Well, I didn't come away with nothing. I ended up picking up Bakugan Defenders of the Core and Rocksmith 2014 Remastered. Both of those for 27 bucks. Not too bad of a deal. All right, I usually don't go to Salvation Armies, but uh, I happen to be passing by one on the way to a pawn shop, so might as well check it out. Well, I'm not seeing anything here. And nothing here either. Well, that went just as expected. I've been to this next pawn shop once before. It's in like a weird industrial section of the city. Um, I remember last time I was here they had literally like five video games in the entire store So we'll see if they maybe got some more over the summer. I'm not too hopeful, but it's on the way to another pawn shop So might as well check it out Yeah, thank you Moving on all right next up we got Wimpy's pawn shop. I know there's another one up in the high desert I don't know if there's any relation um, <laughs> Neither of these stores look anything alike, so We'll see if these guys have any games right now. Oh man, I hope that's not all there is. Random crap down here. Looks like a bunch of uh, junk. Well, fortunately, okay, why? Okay, fortunately, I don't have to go too far. There's a thrift store right across the street, which I have gotten games at before. Well, pretty much every single game was green tag. Can you guess what the only color today that isn't on sale? Well, earlier we went to a skate shop called Pawn Shop and now we're going to a thrift store called Yard Sale. I don't get it. This is a lot more than I was expecting. Omix is a, this is like a multimedia thrift store. Like, that's awesome. Definitely not what I expected, but I don't really have any games. All right, next up, I hit up a Facebook post. Um, bunch of games, uh, I made an offer. The guy didn't accept or refuse. He just told me to just come by his house and kind of look through everything he has because he said he's got a lot more than what's in the post and uh, we can make a bundle deal from there. So we'll see if this turns out to be worth it. Well, in typical Facebook marketplace or offer of practice, uh, the guy bailed out on me. So uh, gonna stop by a couple retro game stores on the way home and then that'll be it for the day. Little surprise I ended up stopping by my mom's house and my grandma handed me these games she said she got them for free um, nothing too crazy but probably a nice little 10 bucks 15 bucks in GameStop credit so can't really complain about that all right we're gonna check out one of my local retro game stores into the retroverse we'll see if they got anything good today Lots of games in there. Unfortunately, I grabbed the stack that I thought they would probably be able to do a pretty good deal on, but we were just so far off on uh, on pricing that couldn't quite get anything there. Maybe next time. All right, last stop of the day, we're gonna be heading to Origins Game Shop. We'll see if we can end it on a bang. All right, thank you, man. Well, I ain't gonna lie, guys, uh, <laughs> I probably should have quit right after the second swap meet uh, because I did a lot of driving today. I probably went to like 15 different places and this is all I was able to pick up. Now, that's not to say these weren't good deals because they were good deals, but uh, definitely wasn't worth um, driving around all day. Uh, but hey, sometimes this happens. It doesn't happen often, but 
Um, it's a part of the game. You can't find crazy pickups every day. But uh, I'll go ahead and lay these all out on my table. I try not to let days like this get me down, but man, does it suck going to so many places and getting so little in return. Well, relatively speaking at least, because I am sure that there are plenty of markets in the country that if you were to get this stack of games in one day, it would be like the best pickup ever. So I'm always blessed whenever I'm able to get something. Overall, I ended up spending about 200 bucks, and in return, I got just under $800 in value, so I really can't complain.